I'm Natural Smarty. The mild temps of spring are slipping away and the heat wave of summer is bashing into the Midwest. Come along in this virtual hike looking for early summer wildlife and wildflowers. Here we go. Look at the gigantic leaves on this burdock wildflower, the plant from which Velcro was designed. Here's a common wildflower that you'll start seeing in early summer in very wet areas. Forget me not. And there's another over there actually. It's called yellow flag. It's an iris. Let's take a closer look. Oh. Can you figure out who laid down these tracks? Here, this should help. It appears as though this animal has two toes. It's a mammal, it's a hooked mammal. The rusty crayfish, Faxineus rusticus. This is the dominant Midwestern crayfish species, and that's in part because it is super aggressive. It outcompetes the native species. It tries to establish its dominance by showing its size and fighting the other crayfish. That's a little unusual for invertebrates. You normally see that behavior in vertebrates. So how do we know it's a rusty crayfish? Look at the tips of those pinchers. They're wrapped in black. Also, on either side of the cephalothorax, there's that rusty patch. You see it right there on top of my thumb? So that's on either side. So the cephalothorax is there. The abdomen, whoops, that's this part, whoops, which contains, that's sort of the swimming appendage. Underneath the cephalothorax, that's where the gills are. So this, this crustacean breathes air right through the water into its gills. So as a crustacean, it's a crayfish, it's a decapod. So if we flip it over, you'll see four as a decapod, you'll see those four pairs of legs and the pair of pinchers up on top, giving it a total of 10. There are 320 freshwater crayfish species east of the Rockies. That's more than there are marine lobster species worldwide. It's amazing. So we have so many of these crayfish in waters just like this. Fresh waters, slow moving stream and river water, and also in wetlands. And they are a keystone species, despite the fact that this is an invasive species. So it's, uh, it's creeping into ranges where it's not originally native and causing damage and outcompeting the natives. So despite that, it's still a keystone species. It's very important because it can eat very small creatures and it moves that nutrition up the food web. All right, say bye-bye to the rusty crayfish. Found myself some shade. I'm Natural Smarty. Thanks for coming along in that virtual hike. Wildflowers, crayfish, summer wildlife is here. Get out there, see what you can find. Good luck.